a show of support outside Jefferson Torsdale Hospital for a family going through a lot. Todos estamos bien. For this situation, we're very, we're very sad, um, and and we've been scared. Local advocates got involved after they heard a patient here could be sent out of the country. Their family member, who had been in a serious motorcycle accident, uh, was set to be deported on a private charter plane this morning to Guatemala uh, because essentially the hospital didn't want to pay for his ongoing medical care. Claudia Martinez is Armando Vargas's niece. We spoke to her with the help of a translator. Have they told you they want to move him? And why do you think they want to move him? They say because he doesn't have medical insurance. Y porque no tiene papeles también. And because este he doesn't have papers. Immigration officials are not involved in this. ICE officials told NBC10 they don't have an open case on the patient and that a hospital cannot make a lawful removal on ICE's behalf. Jefferson Health wouldn't speak on this case specifically, but said a multidisciplinary team works with patients and their families to develop a comprehensive care plan. And in a statement said, quote, Jefferson Health does not transfer any patient without the consent of the patient or if the patient cannot consent, a family member or their legally appointed decision maker. We have no out-of-the-country transfers scheduled from Jefferson Health Northeast. Martinez says the hospital has now told the family they will try to keep Vargas here for four more weeks. Most of us, uh, unfortunately, had to become very familiar very quickly with a word, two words that we did not ever want to be in our vocabulary, medical repatriation. We do not know a whole lot about it. Council member Helen Gim says in the coming weeks, the family and others can start asking questions about where the most appropriate place is to care for the patient. In Northeast Philadelphia, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.